Hi Tubes. Got something a little different here today. Uh, I just picked this box up. I've been waiting for it for a month. It was uh, shipped uh, via fasten fasten all fasten all here. And uh, let me tell you a story about the shipping first before I even get into what's in it. All right. Let's look at the invoice here and. Uh, the guy started, I agreed to, to uh, matter of fact, I, I told him about this, this kind of ship. He didn't even know the fast and all ship, but uh, he went there and made arrangements on the 10th of February. And then he finally dropped it off on the 12th. All right, I sanitize this here because uh, you don't need to see all the information. But anyway, he dropped it off on the 12th, and I told him it's going to take at least eight days. You know, okay, no problem. You tell somebody ahead of time, eight days is eight days. That's you know that's fine. We're not in a hurry for this thing. But anyway, let's see where it went. It started out. This is interesting here. It started out at 173 pounds. All right, left from uh, Lafayette, Louisiana, and it looks like it maybe went through Pennsylvania or something. And by that time, it was down 150 pounds. That's probably just. Uh, you know, something they don't even worry about once you pay for it. Speaking of paying for it, it costs $150. I gave them $150 to ship this. All right, and they say it's gonna take eight days, right? Today is, I picked it up today, today is uh, the 11th, March 11th. So anyway, it looks like they shipped it the 12th and it went through Pennsylvania by the 18th of February. And then it came and uh, arrived at my store on the 23rd, right? Like I say, today is uh, March March 11th. So it, it sat in that store for about three weeks. And they never called me and told me it was there. So I picked it up and I asked the guy, I says, uh, how come you didn't call me? He says, oh, we didn't have any paperwork. We didn't know whose it was. So they had enough brains to, to open it. You know, the guy did a beautiful job. I'll get into this later about how nice he made this box, but they had enough brains to open it and see if there was any information in there, but there wasn't. So, I mean, they, they took the trouble to open it, but they didn't have enough sense to, to call the main office. You know, somebody, I mean, you got enough tracking numbers on this thing that somebody should have been able to find out where it's supposed to go. This is interesting too. It's, uh, by the time it hit here, it was 214 pounds. It, it left at 175. Then it lost 50 pounds. No, it lost 25 pounds because uh, when it hit Pennsylvania, it was 150. And then when it uh, hit South Jersey here, it was back up to uh, price it gained 65 pounds. That's odd. So anyway, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. It's funny because I asked the guy, so why didn't you call me? He says, oh, it didn't have any paperwork. I said, really? He says, yeah, he goes, we figured somebody would uh, pick it up eventually. You know, the hell kind of thing is that to say? But anyway, if you if you guys use fast and all, just, just know what you're dealing with. All right. Let me uh, take this off. Let me take this off the truck and uh, show you what we got. All right, enough about fast and all there. If you're watching fast and all, uh, for 150 bucks, take 150 bucks from somebody, you should take a little responsibility. But anyway, somebody dropped the ball, you should look into it. But anyway, let me uh, show you guys this box. We'll go from one extreme to the other here, because this, this box is beautiful. The guy that made this really took his time. First of all, he used three quarter inch plywood. And every one of these seams is perfect, perfect and flush. Everything is square. Beautiful. It's, like a, it's almost like a piece of furniture if it wasn't made out of plywood. Even, uh, even raised the bottom. I don't know if you can see that because I'm in the shade here, but... Raise the bottom and cut it out so that it could uh, slip a fork truck under it. I didn't have to take the top off because fasten will never even put a screw back in it. And then he put this uh, look like one and a half by one and a half wood on the top here, you know, just to make a handle so to make it easy for him to carry and for the lid to screw into. Beautiful job. All right, let me show you what's inside. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep my back to the wind. It got a little breezy out here, but anyway, we got uh, two FH uh, 
Briggs. I'm gonna try to keep. I got a shadow going on here too. I'll try to uh, keep myself out of the shadow. But anyway, we got uh, two FH Briggses here. They look like uh, 1927, 1928, something like that. But anyway, the guy actually uh, bolted the flywheels to the box, so no way they can move. And bolted the engine. These engines are bolted down to the bottom. And anything like the shrouds that could be damaged, this looks like a shroud in here. Yeah, he actually put it in a box. And then uh, there's another box here that feels a little heavier. I'm gonna have to use two hands to take that out. So uh, let me take that out. All right, in this box here, uh, just got a lot of miscellaneous. Uh, look like remanufactured parts. This looks like a brand new one here. Uh, some manuals, some gaskets, all right, and more parts. He did an excellent job wrapping them. Let me uh, I'll take a better look and see what's in this box once I get it off the truck here. All right, here we go. Here's a better look. Like I say, the guy that sent it to me actually bolted the, the flywheels to the, the wall here and everything in. And the box inside here is not even not even air holes, you know? You can't even get bugs going through here. And, and one way that was good because uh, I see parts sitting on, on the floor here. I'm sure that, that happened at fast enough when they were rummaging through looking for a thing there. But anyway, you get no way for anything to get in or out, so that was that was good. Alright, this one here. Well this one over here is a slant fin. This is a regular one. And this one seems to be all complete, never messed with, you know, it's all still together and everything. And this one here, this one here was more or less just a, a big bag of parts and everything, and he just uh, threw it together just uh, for shipping. So, I mean, yeah, they're not moving, they're bolted down. You actually see the bolts down there. All right, excellent job, excellent job, Daniel. All right, let me unbolt these and uh, take them out. It would be easier than trying to carry this whole crate, so uh, let me get some wrenches. Alright, I got them on the back of the truck here, and I turned the truck around so they're in the sun, so you can get a better look at them, but you might catch a, some of my shadow <clears throat> once in a while here. There you go. Oh, I see, I see Road King. Okay. Yeah, this one here looks, uh, I wouldn't say more complete because the other one's complete too, it's just in pieces. You know, they're both going to have to be disassembled completely. But anyway, yeah, let's see what we got here. Alright, here's the two flywheels that were attached to the, bolted to the side of the machine or to the box. I tied these up so I wouldn't lose them here. Let's see what we got here in the box. This is the shroud. It looks to be in really good shape. Let's see what we got here. See, I can, I'm, all I'm seeing is glare on this camera, so I don't know what you guys are seeing. It's like a uh, serial number uh, 41439. I think that would uh, make this about a 1928, around the middle of the year, June, June, July, maybe. I think that, that would put it closer to maybe July. July 1928, I'm going to call it. All right, that's the only thing that was in that box. Let me see. Got a spark plug wire. That's no good, but uh, that belongs to this engine. The other one has one. So we got in the box. Huh. There's that key weight. It was in the bottom of the box. Put that key. And then this, this is brand new. This is this is the sump. Goes in a wheel sump. Yeah, this guy he, uh, he actually put a lot of money into this engine. You know, buying all brand new parts and everything like that. Way more than the engine's worth. But uh, I can understand why he would want to save uh, a little piece of history like this and i appreciate that he he knew he knew what they were worth and he, he gave me a, a great deal on both of these things just because he knew i would uh, i would make them right and put them together so uh, i really appreciate that he could have put them on ebay and probably got two three times what it would he charged me but anyway let's just continue on he's uh bag for the shroud and the push rod Must be a spare push rod because uh, both engines got one. 
Yeah, I would imagine you have a lot of different spare parts for this. Even uh, has a manual here. You pay, you bought a manual for it. And gaskets, brand new gaskets. Uh, Ziploc bag. Yeah, I shouldn't be making fun because uh, I don't know what the what they took apart in there when it was in fast and all not, you know, he, I'm sure he had this all all put together, all this stuff in here and they uh, they probably rummaged through it matter of fact I'm sure of it because i am come across a lot of empty bags here so, what we got here, so that's a spring could it be possible got a little spring in a big bag we got a brand new muffler. Reproduction, you know. But still, that's all you're going to get for these. Bubble wrap, the pin of bubble wrap. Here's part of the backing plate. And the kickstarter, the chain. Sorry if, if I'm not, not focusing on things because I'm, I'm looking at things and the camera is looking in different directions. So. Yeah, this looks like something he bought, bought used. It's in great shape though. Here's a valve, brand brand new valve. That's good because I checked them and uh, these are, every, they're all frozen up. It's to be expected. So now it's almost uh, 80 to 100 years old, these engines. Let's see what else we got here. Oop, don't damage none of these. Another valve, brand new valve. I don't know if you can see that. Brand new spring for the Kickstarter, and uh, that looks like it's part of the engine that was just sandblasted. Yeah, it looks like you put a lot of time into this. A lot of, a lot of time already going into it. But the reason you saw it is uh, he's backed up. He's got a lot of projects going. This here holds a Kickstarter. And just a couple of. Uh, bolts there, so we'll have to see what they go to. Hmm. Don't know what that is, but we'll figure it out. Okay. So, if you don't see everything here, Daniel, that means uh, fast and all must have, must have taken it. it look, everything looks to be complete, though. Got the carburetor here. It's got a brass carburetor on it. A slant fin. If you get a slant fin with a pot metal carburetor like this, it was a transition year, and there was only a few of them made. I had one of them in the shed, and they're they're uh, desirable. Everybody wants them because they made so few of them. He told me it's going to need a coil or a re uh, rewind or something. That's understandable. I have Mike take a look at that, but we don't know. You know, it, it may work. And then this one here, let's take a better look at this one here. That's a straight fin with the pop metal carburetor. And what do we got here? Trying to be that number. Let me see, I don't know if you guys can see it. Looks like uh, maybe a 57147. That would make this like a, I think a 1929, early, early 29. Possibly uh, one of the first ones, let's say January, maybe. So these two guys, although they look completely different, are only about six months apart, probably. But anyway, they give us something to do now. Give us another project uh, you guys keep your eye on. All right, let me uh, push some of the stuff out of the way. All right, so after a quick look at this, it looks like with, uh, I only have one kick pedal which is probably bought for this engine. I'm not too sure, but it'll go on either one. But uh, anyway, I only have one kick pedal for both engines, so I'm gonna need one of them. If anybody has a kick pedal for an FH out there, get hold of me and see what we can do. Also, uh, missing the intake tube here, which is nothing. That's, uh, that could be made, no problem. For the carburetor, goes from here to here. Like I say, I don't know, uh, I know they were both uh, supposed to be sort of complete, and they are both complete, but uh, 
I don't know what what was sent and what, what's missing from fastening also. Which is no problem. I have no problem with uh, the way these engines are. It's just uh, some other stuff we have to buy. Anyway, uh, I didn't tell you guys how, how this guy got hold of me. He, uh, he's one of my uh, YouTubers. And he sent me... He didn't, matter of fact, he didn't even know how to send a PM. I had to tell him how to send a PM. Because he told me he had a couple engines. And then uh, he got hold of me by email after he PM'd me. And sent me some pictures. And uh, he had a bunch of engines, but uh, some of them, you know, 5S's and N's and Briggs, uh, you know, Model A's and stuff like that. Just, you know, they just weren't worth shipping, you know. But these here, you know, they have some value, especially when they're finished. And it was worth the shipping to me. So, uh, so I appreciate him getting hold of me. And I, I, it was a fun dealing with him. He's a really nice guy. Probably one of the most honest guys I've ever met or even talked to. So, uh, Daniel, if you, if you see this, uh, thanks, and I appreciate you going through all the trouble to, to shipping this and dealing with fast and all. And uh, keep your eye open, and uh, you'll see these things uh, brought back to life. All right, enough of this. Oh, yeah, I want to mention another thing here. That uh, This is for Daniel. Uh, that, that box ain't going to go to waste. That thing's built well, way too well. Um, I'll probably uh, weatherproof the outside with uh, shingles on it and put a hinge on that top and uh, store my pool chemicals in there or maybe engine parts or something. That's uh, way too nice to take apart and just use for uh, scrap wood. Alright, thanks again buddy.